Hey, hello there. It's a new year and uh, back to the Sword and Laser mailbox. Before I start opening up the packages, we've got four books to open up today. I uh, want to remind you about the upcoming books from the Sword and Laser Ink Shares collection. Uh, these are two of the three. There's also Asteroid Made of Dragons coming as well in March. And there's currently an Ink Shares contest going on to pick the next books in the collection. So if you pre-order that, you get in on the ground floor. You're the early adopter. You read them before they were cool and all of that. So head on over to inkshares.com or swordandlaser.com to get more information about that. Let's open up the first package of the new year. So, oh, no, I, f I felt like there was two books in there for a second. Blood and Steel, Harry Sidebottom, Throne of Caesars, book two. So this is a sequel. Uh, sold a, more than 500,000 copies of Warrior of Rome series. Uh, this one seems to be coming out January 19th. Blending heart-pounding action and historical accuracy, Harry Sidebottom's best-selling Warrior of Rome series took readers from the shouts of the battlefield to the whisperings of his emperor's inner circle. In the second book of his Throne of the Caesars series, Sidebottom continues his retelling of one of the bloodiest periods of Roman history, the Year of the Six Emperors. And we've got some jacket art here, uh, jacket photograph rather, from Anya Weber Decker. Oh, that's actually like a real hand. Oh, look at that with some Roman coins. Package number two, come a four, two of four today. So wait until they're all open before you leave. Up, oh, this is an advanced reader copy, an ARC as they call it. World's End by Will Elliott. And this one will be coming out March, you knew that before I did, March 2016. Uh, when Eric Albright, a luckless London slacker, and his pal Stuart Casey went through a battered red door under a railway bridge, the last thing they expected to find was another world. <laughs> Haven't you watched television? There's always another world when you go through a battered red door under a railway bridge. There lay the strange dark realm of Laval, whose tyrant lord Vus has ascended to godhood. The Great Wall, which has divided the land, has been brought down, setting loose a horde of demonic tormentors. In their sky prisons, the dragons are stirring, set to defy their slumbering creator and steal humanity's world. Well, they're not going to let that happen. Check out World's End in March to find out how. Three of four coming at you now. This one is All the Birds in the Sky by J Charlie Jane Anders. Look, it's real. It's a real freaking book. I'm so excited for this book. Uh, this is the editor-in-chief of io9. Uh, she is a Hugo Award winner for her short stories, and I'm trying to find real quick when this book is out. Uh, this was published online already. The hardcover is coming out January 26th, so not too far away. All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders. A tale of science and magic, life and love in the beginning of our future. From an early age, Patricia Delphine and Lawrence Armstead had different and sometimes opposite ways of seeing the world. Patricia could talk to animals and even turn herself into a bird, while Lawrence built a supercomputer and a time machine that only went forward two seconds. As they navigated the never-ending nightmare that is junior high school, they became wary allies until an enigmatic guidance counselor with a hidden agenda intervened. Jacket designed by Will stale so check that one out uh, you can get it online already or uh, in january in hardback and that's a pretty looking hardback with all those birds this is it four of four last of the packages truth witch by susan denard i feel like we had this one in an advanced reader copy maybe uh before but here's the full on beautiful hardback and uh this one is coming out sometime Come on, you guys, put the release date on the front page, for goodness sake. Uh, this one, well, it's already on sale, January 5th. Uh, this is a Tor Teen hardcover, and the jacket art is by Scott Grimondo. In the Witchlands, there are almost as many types of magic as there are ways to get in trouble, as two desperate young women know all too well. Safia is a truth witch, able to discern truth from lie. It's a powerful magic that many would kill to have on their side, especially amongst the nobility to which Safi is born, of course. So Safi must keep her gift hidden, lest she be used as a pawn in the struggle between empires. Go buy a book, folks, if not one of these. Find yourself something good. We got all kinds of great ideas for books in the sword and laser genres, science fiction and fantasy over at swordandlaser.com. I will see you over there.